Welcome back to Jersey Matters. As I mentioned, Ocean County, uh, New Jersey, was one of the first counties in the country to use Narcan on those who were overdosing. Joseph Carnado, the prosecutor, was called down to Washington to speak with Attorney General, then Attorney General, Eric Holder, about the Narcan program. And so you are one of the foremost experts in the country when it comes to Narcan. I know that's me saying that. You don't have to. <laughs> you can just smile. We, um, so we, I want to talk about Narcan, but I, I, before we get to, to the Narcan, how bad is the problem right now in Ocean County? Well, the problem in Ocean, Ocean County, as it is in New Jersey and across the country, is the fact is that now we're not only dealing with heroin, we're dealing with synthetic opioids, which is really the problem that has come in. It's fentanyl, and there's 40 different types of fentanyl. And fentanyl is made out of a test tube. And the problem is fentanyl is, is cheaper, and it's more, it appears to be more readily available. And all you need is a small amount of fentanyl to, to die. So the bottom line is, is that most of the drug dealers now, because of the cost factor and because it's so potent, have turned to fentanyl and they're adding fentanyl into the heroin. And it becomes, um, it becomes a mixture. Uh, the bottom, it's more deadly, right? It becomes more deadly. Uh, just a grain of fentanyl, okay, um, can kill an elephant. So with all the attention uh, on, the, on the opioid epidemic, is it get, still getting worse? It's getting worse because it's the opioids, the, w what they're taking, this cocktail, so to speak, that they're taking is so much more powerful that it's killing people and the body can't handle it. And this saves lives. It's interesting, you showed us before we started the interview, the history of Narcan. It's a short history, but it's a dramatic history. Can you show us? Well, originally when we turned out Narcan, and we were the first candidate, we put it out in 2014, okay, you had to put, you had to put it together. There's a little glassine tube that you had to use. I guess about a year later, well into 2015, we came in with a little packet here. Uh, it was a little bit more condensed. And now it's evolved into where, where you can get it, and it's just a nasal spray. How many times has this been used in Ocean County? Well, so far this year, I think we've used it 260, 263 times so far this year. And uh, last year, um, it was uh, just about 500 sprays that we had. It's continued to be used because it's not only used by law enforcement, EMTs, but now you know, some of the park rangers, lifeguards. We've, we've, uh, we've actually spread it out to the high school nurses. It's actually been, it's, it's more being uh, distributed uh, throughout, uh, throughout the county. I, I know it's necessary, but it's a shame it is. Uh, nobody disagrees that you should be using Narcan. Uh, obviously, to see if you can save a life, you can save a life. I think one of the problems people have is that it's the same people over and over again that are being brought back from an overdose and they, they're not getting treatment in between. Should that be required? Well, yeah, and, that, and that's a great question. What we did here in Ocean County is we started with the ORP program, which is the Opiate Overdose Response Program. And that means whenever a law enforcement office does spray somebody with Narcan, they have to be brought to the hospital because there's a possibility that there could be a reversal. Once they get into the emergency room, there's a recovery coach that actually then is called out. They operate seven days a week, 24 hours a day. And they then go and approach that individual and get that and convince that individual to go into a detox and go into a treatment. We, that was launched in 2016 and has been very, very successful here in Ocean County. Um, but as a result of that and, and the fact that they were saving lives and getting people into treatment, that's when we started a Blue Heart program. And we launched that on January 11th of this year. That means that you can walk into a police station and that we'll get your help, no questions asked. No arrest. No, no arrest. You, it, you can bring in your drugs. We won't even charge you with regard to that. And so far to date, we've uh, put in about 220 people uh, into the program. Think about it. 220 people have walked into a police station wow. in Ocean County. We're tracking those individuals just to make sure where they are. They are brought to a detox facility. Then once they go from the detox facility, they go into a treatment facility. And then after that, they go into sober living or a halfway house. And we, I get weekly reports on those individuals as they go through. It's all about saving lives. So Narcan was the beginning. The ORP takes care of one portion of them. Those are the people that are overdosed and almost walked into right. the light, so to speak. And then you have the other program where you don't have to almost die. You can actually, if you need help, you walk into a police station and we'll get you help. Sir, thank you so much. You're I welcome. appreciate Anytime. your time. Pleasure. Ocean County Prosecutor Joseph Coronado. When we come back, Dawn continues her tours of the state parks and shows you the Barnegat Lighthouse like you've never seen it before. That's when Jersey Matters continues.